you, you talked about earlier about having the right team around you, man, and everything. We've seen a lot of fighters lately switch their trainers. You know, like we saw, uh, we saw Brandon. Re uh, I mean, Timothy Bradley change his trainer. Uh, we saw uh, Josecito Lopez now change his trainer. He's a Robert Garcia. Just from a fighter's perspective, is, is that a difficult decision to make, Gabe? I mean, a lot of people think it's just on a whim, but like, how, how difficult is it to make that decision? No, it, it really is hard to, um, when you're switching trainers, you know, because um, uh, I started with Billy Briscoe. I was with Billy for 10 years, right? But um, it just got to the point where it became, the relationship became more like family. And that's cool, but sometimes when, um, sometimes when trainers and fighters get too close, sometimes sometimes uh, a trainer is probably not 100% honest with the fighter probably because he doesn't want to make him feel some type of way or whatever you know what I'm saying yeah. and um, and then you know I, I switched over and I got uh, and I got Jesse and Jesse Reed and then that worked you know for for the, for one fight or whatever but it's just um you just got to find that trainer that is on is on top of you you know what I'm saying that's pushing you and you know and not letting you dictate the camp because as a, as as I'm I'm definitely a a control a control freak man and if you allow me to take control of a camp I'll dictate my camp so I need somebody as as strong as me controlling my camp where you know maybe if I'm if I want to do this you know they're like no nah, we're gonna do this and it's like all right you know you can't argue with your trainer so you know you're gonna do it so I think um I think you know it's hard man but you got to do what's best for you because at the end of the day you got to feed your family you know. And um, and it's never. I think when you leave a trainer, a lot of people take it personal, but it's never personal. It's business. You got to separate that. You know, with that said, do you think Tim Bradley not going with Teddy Atlas into a big fight with Brandon Rios? What is he feeling right now? What do you feel as a fighter, Gabe, when you when you go with a new trainer? Is there a, is it an adjustment period? Is it a little bit of a? a you know, does it affect the fighter too? Because you know they're used to one certain thing, and now they're getting into something brand new. You know what? I think um, I think it's gonna benefit them because. Uh, you know, he's been with uh, Joel, right? It's Joel? Yeah. He's been with Joel f his whole career. And for whatever reason, some, you know, you know, we don't know the whole story. You know what I'm saying? There's always, there's always different sides of things. We don't know the whole story. You know what I mean? So um, I'm pretty sure for whatever reason, uh, Tim just felt like he wasn't getting what he, what he needed, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, if he's with Seti... You know, I think um, Teddy's a guy where he's no bullshit. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't take bullshit from nobody. And I think um, I think that might work for uh, Timothy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's, you know, everybody can look at I, When I first saw it, I was like, damn, that's a bad move. Because I, I think Joel was a great trainer. I think Joel was a really good trainer. But just because I think he's a really good trainer doesn't, doesn't mean that they're probably not vibing. You feel me? So just because he's a good trainer doesn't mean that they're vibing. You feel me? So um, Teddy's probably a good move.